going back on the wall today yesterday I tried my uh, I tried down the, um, the way there last night but it's too windy for revelation the last revelation guys trust Jesus bro all right the last revelation I'm gonna read it finally hopefully without any disruptions I'm gonna go to chapter 20 on 21 and uh, have fun right so hallelujah God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish and have everlasting life God didn't send his son to the world to condemn the world but through his son the world might be saved all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and the wages of sin is death you girls love Jesus no hallelujah there's some girls that really love Jesus down here so but the wages of sin is death but the gift of everlasting life is for those who find who love Jesus hallelujah so I think I might, I don't know if I should turn it up or not. I'm going to run it like that. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither pain for the former things are passed away and he that sat upon the throne said behold I make all things new and he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is in the thirst of the fountain of the water of free life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars have their part in the lake which burneth with the fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had seven vials full of the seven plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. Having the glory of God and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high and the twelve gates, and the, the gates twelve angels, and the names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof, and the city. Better this way. And the city lieth four square in the length is as large as the breadth, and measured the city with the reed twelve thousand furlongs. The length and the breadth of the height of it are equal, like square. And he measured the wall thereof, a hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was as jasper, and the city was as pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the fountains of the wall of the city were garnished with them all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third uh, caldoni, the fourth an emerald. I don't want to read, I'm not going to uh, mention all these different uh, stones because uh, they have some pretty big names and I can't, I can't pronounce them. Sorry guys. 
but each each uh, layer uh, was a different stone. Okay, guys, <laughs> jacinth, um, amethyst, and some other. Okay, and the twelve gates were twelve pearls, big giant pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall be not be shut at all by day. This might be some noise there in the background. Okay. For there shall be no light there, and they shall bring the glory and honor of all the nations into it. There shall be in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there a tree of life, the bear twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of it there, of the tree, uh, were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no light, no light there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These things are faithful and true, and the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship God. And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, they that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whoever so loveth to maketh a lie. And I, Jesus, have sent my th angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bright say come, and let him that heareth say come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. 
And if any man shall take away the words of this book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testify these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen, even so. Lord Jesus, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Hallelujah. We just went through the New Testament, guys. Hallelujah. Wow. So that's the whole Testament. I don't know, a hundred and some videos. Um, I've learned a lot through this reading. It's awesome uh, to read it out loud. The Lord had me come out and read his word. He says, if you're going to street preach, I want you to uh, know what you're street preaching about. And that's the, the way, the truth, and the life. And my son, Jesus Christ, came uh, to die uh, for your sins uh, so you can repent and turn from yours and um, obey God, for he's the righteous king. He's the king of kings and lord of lords. Behold, uh, a son is given. Behold, um, a son is... Um, Behold, the son is given. Behold, the son is born. And his name shall be Wonderful, Mighty Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I'm going to be uh, reading now. I'm going to go through Psalms and uh, Proverbs. So I'm going to start doing Psalms and Proverbs. Uh, because I haven't been in there as much as I should, but uh, first, uh, the Lord said, I want you to go out and preach my word and know my word, chew on my word, and uh, because I'm your father and you're my son, and I want you to go out and preach the truth and uh, not to freestyle. So talk about freestyle. Uh, me, Glenn, Kimberly, Doug, and maybe a few others are going to go to Santa Ana this weekend uh, to a gay pride parade, whatever you want to call it, and, uh, and bring the word. We've got to bring the gospel to them. 45% uh, of them people out there, uh, they're all young. All of them are young. They still don't know what life is. Uh, a lot of them are uh, suicidal, and uh, um, they're on drugs, depressants. I've been abused, and uh, there's nowhere, they, physically, they're looking for something physically to run to, so they all run to themselves uh, for comfort, uh, and we're, sure, we're there to show them uh, that the only one that's going to comfort and love is love is the true God, and that's his, his son, Jesus Christ, and through Jesus Christ, they can all be saved out there. We love them. Uh, everybody has... Uh, uh, different trips in this world and uh, a lot of them are lost in um, in sin and sinful pleasures of the flesh uh, because it's the quickest easiest way uh, to get uh, relief so uh, we're going to relieve them of that and uh, give them the truth Jesus Christ so uh, that's where that's at uh, I follow my father every day uh, in obedience because I love my father and he loves me he said be born again of the, of the spirit and of water um, you have to be born again through the spirit uh, to walk in spirit not in flesh if you're walking in the flesh and you're uh, you say you're a Christian uh, you're not saved you're not a true Christian you're not saved you're still walking in the flesh uh, you got to be of the spirit so the Holy Spirit can wean you off a drink, smoke, talk, joke, going broke, sip your gin and juice with your mind on your money and your money on your mind and get you off this worldly garbage uh, that's putting you in sin. You don't want to die uh, it, it caught in your sin. Over 150,000 people die every day. Uh, so everybody's soul has to go somewhere. Uh, where's that going to go when you die? Uh, whether you like it or not, laugh, mock, cry, or uh, 
or uh, agree. Uh, everybody's soul is on the line. That's what I'm out here for. I'm not out here for your pretty flesh. As a matter of fact, the pretty ones are the ones that uh, end up in, uh, going bad because they uh, they think they've got it all, you know. All the girls, you know, they're pretty and all the guys are all pretty. And you know what, what happened to, to Satan? Wasn't he the prettiest one in heaven? Look what happened to him. So looks isn't everything. So hallelujah. I love, I love my father. I'm gonna keep on doing this uh, forever, as, as long as I live on planet Earth. So um, I had to get rid of a lot of friends, a lot of people. A lot of people left me because uh, I'm uh, too, too Christian, right? Uh, too, too, uh, but too godly. But you know what? If you ain't too godly and too Christian and you don't love Jesus as much as I do and, and uh, you don't pay attention to him, you don't pray to him, you don't acknowledge him, what are you going to do in heaven? You think you're going to be there just to, to go and cruise around and have fun just because you believe in, in, in Jesus? It doesn't work that way. you got to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. If you don't have that one-on-one -on -one relationship, uh, then you're you're headed for a heartache because he's going to say go away from me you worker of iniquity I never knew you there's going to be preachers there's going to be pe people that go to church every weekend that are going to end up in hell as a lukewarm Christian because they don't they're not filled with the Holy Spirit uh, they're all just believers uh, like a trend and you can't be Jesus is not a trend church is not a trend uh, believing in God is not a trend he's your friend Either you have a friend in Jesus or you don't. Jesus is a relationship, not a religion ship. So either you have that or you don't. You don't like it and you're pouting and you're whining when you walk by and, and think I'm wrong. Well, you got a heart, you're, you're headed for a heartache uh, because that's where it's at. Uh, Jesus said, pick up your cross and follow me on a daily. Let each man find his own salvation with fear and trembling. It's like Paul, I die daily. Some man came up to me last night, he goes, uh, 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 how do you get saved? Uh, how, how, do you, how do you know you're belie a believer? So I started telling him all these things, be born again, follow Jesus. Uh, uh, if you don't love Jesus, uh, you, you gotta keep his commandments if you love Jesus, right? This big old puppy right here. He's, he's looking, he's like, where's that noise coming from? I know, he's weird out. Hi, Lincoln. Hi, hey, Lincoln. Hi, hey, Lincoln. Hi, hey, Lincoln. He doesn't like motorcycles, I think. It's funny. Yeah, we got dogs all jacked up. Anyway, yeah, we got dogs down here all over the place. Yeah, see? Yeah. Thanks, uh, stinking Lincoln. All right, but anyway, that's where that's at, folks. You do. dog was agreeing with you, man. Yeah, I know. He's agreeing that all dogs are going to be uh, cast out of heaven. There's not going to be, they're going to be out of the gates. That's what I just read. People think the dogs are going to heaven. Well, we'll see how much dogs God keeps in there for us just to enjoy. You really think there's going to be that many dogs? Well, we'll see. We'll find out, right? So I think there's going to be more to life than just loving your dog, walking your dog, and say, hey, everybody, I have this fluffy dog. I take them on walks. It's going to be more than that in, in heaven. So uh, uh, whether you like it or not, uh, Jesus loves you. Yeah, Fred Fred thinks he's in my video, bro. It's pointing this way, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, you ain't in my video, Fred. If you want to get my video, you got to go across the street there, bud. Yeah, a guy tries to get in my videos all the time. So hallelujah. Have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. Uh, these end times are serious. A lot of Christians aren't going to make it. They're going to be left behind because they're playing the trend. Uh, I go to church. Uh, I have fellowship. Um, we all believe, but yet we, uh, you know, we cuss, we drink, we smoke. You know, it's all good. We just, uh, we can do it. You know, Jesus died for our sins every day, so... Uh, no problem. What's wrong with that? That's a big fat lie. Uh, don't get stuck in that, guys. Don't get stuck in this world. We're not supposed to be of this world. We're supposed to be separate, be transformed. 
like my transformer shirt. In his image and likeness, we're supposed to walk like him, like father, like son. God's love, but there's a lot of things he hates too, guys. There's seven things that God hates. So he's serious. He's not just all love. He loves the ones that love him. He loves everybody, but he loves the ones who love him. That's bottom line. So um, you guys have a beautiful day. I love you guys. Be blessed. Thank you for watching. I know you guys have been watching me on, on the videos. Uh, the Munozes, I love you guys. You guys rock, man. Every Munoz out there on Facebook, you guys rock. My Uncle Marshall. Um, uh, Bagwell, she's on there. Um, uh, Covington, um, uh, she's like one of the first ones on there. But I love all you guys. Um, uh, uh, Miss Bright, yeah, she was on there too. But I love every one of you guys. Thank you for following me. And um, and uh, we, uh, the Lord is, is serious. This is who Andre is now. Um, I'm serious about uh, going to heaven uh, because I don't want to be left behind. I don't want to fry uh, for eternity, guys. So I hope you, you guys follow the Lord and uh, have that one-on-one -on -one relationship. I love you guys. In Jesus' mighty name, uh, I'm going to cut it off right here. Be blessed, guys. Love you. So we got the choo-choo train going. That's the surf liner. See, it's weird because it's flat in the front and there's no train there. There's no, no engine in the front, right? So we got gang loads of people down there. They're just everywhere. Here's that truck. This truck right here, it carries all like the big salmon, swordfish, uh, flounder from Alaska. He's got the mother load. That's why it doesn't have any riding on the side because he'd get pulled over and, and, uh, and, and uh, hijacked because he's got like bottles of wine that's over $100 a piece in there. So you guys be blessed. This was a really cool Evangelist Scoop mission. Reading the, uh, the New Testament all the way through. Uh, so I love you guys. Again, be blessed.